All right, guys, welcome to Tim Black's The Black Table. This is Extra Innings. Extra Innings, Extra Innings from episode 17 in Tim Black, The Black Table Show. We are here, of course. I'm Tim Black, and this is my lovely wife, Mrs. Black. Hello. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Thanks for being here. And today's topic for The Black Table is Carly Russell. She lied! Y'all should see it. It just says Carly, Carly Russell lied. Yeah, what? <laughs> what? Mrs. Black, hey, 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 Mrs. Black. Hey, hello. Hi. <laughs> Crickets. How are you feeling? <laughs> I got crickets. That's funny. I'm so good. I should have a cricket sound effect. <laughs> well, based on my analysis of what was going on last week, that's why I said crickets. <laughs> Carly, girl, you made me look bad. Oh. I was all in for you, too. I was team Carly. Damn, 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 damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but see, but see, here's the thing, man. It's hard to deny it now, man, because everything came out, man. We got... Look, look, I heard it got... Even even my man Willie D had to say it. Willie was... What's up, fam? Mm-hmm. Uh, first of all, um, Carly D. <sighs> Carly. She, uh... She did something really stupid, you know? Uh, fam. She, uh, lied. I'm like, say it! Willie, damn! Man, she's this woman is horrible. You know, she's horrible. She lied. They know she lied. This is bad. This is really bad. You know, put in the comment section where you're from. Hit up my cash app. <laughs> Hit the cash app for your boy. <laughs> I'm like, damn it, man. Let me look this up. So yeah, it looks bad. It's horrible. What what does? But you know what they've uncovered. Dog, they got on a ring camera. This is black. Oh no. Walking normal on the way home. Then as she got close, like 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 a few houses away, then she started walking like like thriller and shit. <laughs> she started walking. That's all part of the thriller. Game. Like she was like she was in distress. Uh-huh. So she was walking normal. Like she not even thinking. Everybody got a ring camera. Mm. It's national news. So she came home about what time? And people went to their ring cameras. Mm. And they saw her walking down the block to her house. Normal. Mm. Just walking. Without a key in the world. And then she got close to the house. She started, let me, let me act, act like I'm in mental in crisis. In distress, yes. Yeah, I'm in distress. Traumatized. So, man, she done stole stuff from the job and What's that? What's that? That, that uh, chief police chief was like, we got on surveillance film, still, still, still in like, a, and, and like picking up like snacks and a robe and all this stuff. So I think she went to somebody's house or something. I don't know what she did, you know, where she was gone for being missing so long. But she was not. I do not believe she was kidnapped. She was. She wasn't home, but she was. She wasn't at work. She wasn't at home. She wasn't in her car, but she was not kidnapped. Now, Carly Russell's boyfriend, uh, he's pleading with the public to stop harassing her. Stop cyberbullying her. That's the term I use. Stop cyberbullying her. Um, the, Alabama, the Alabama nursing student named Carly Russell has been undergoing a lot of bullying because uh, suspicion has been mounting uh, about her abduction. And they don't believe that she's being totally honest about what took place. And he said this. Here he goes. He says, I know what it seems like she did. Just stop bullying on social media. <laughs> I know it looks like she a damn lie. <laughs> stop saying it though. I like the way she makes my grits. <laughs> he gonna say she doesn't. She said he said. Uh, think about her mental health. She doesn't deserve that. She doesn't. Nobody deserves to be cyber bullied. Now, some people deserve. No, look. Nobody. No, look. I agree, Mrs. Black. Mrs. Black, nobody deserves to be cyberbullied. But some people deserve to have the truth told about their ass. Yeah. And why is she stealing? I mean, in this article, it says um, she has a red Mercedes that was found still running. Um, her cell phone, her wallet, and her wig was left in the car. Um, so what is she stealing? <laughs> she stole some stuff from her job. Like, little stupid shit. I don't know what it was. Um, investigators said they're unable to verify her story or her statements and she's refusing to give any follow-up interviews. 
Yeah. She so says, to her, it's done and over with. However, I think there's going to be more coming out from the side of the law. There may be there may be charges pressed against her for you know lying. I mean, unless you've got something else to say about your whereabouts for two days, hey. I th- there's more. More is going to come out of this. Yeah, a lot more. Yeah, <laughs> a lot more is going to come. Mm-mm-mm. It's uh, it's not over. It's not over, man. Yeah. She said some. She said some orange hair. Man, orange hair. Oh. Uh, she said a man with orange hair. Who the hell got orange hair, Johnson? Someone with an iron deficiency. What? <laughs> <laughs> held her captive for two days what'd he do with you what'd y'all do cause if he did something with you it'd be DNA right right huh so he mean he just snatched you up with a kid right and did nothing and then let you go unscathed mm-hmm. no she escaped she escaped. She escaped. She escaped. She said that she escaped. She, but esca- she didn't go into details of anything of how that was done. She escaped. Just like in the movies. Just like in the movie. Like, just like in the movie and movie Taken. Just like in Taken. I'm through. I'm waiting to hear what comes out of it. What comes from all of this. And I just hope that um, future cases of leg- legitimate cases of people going missing regardless of what color they are. I mean, we do need to focus on um, missing black women mm-hmm. um, in our communities. Uh, focus needs to be on them. Yeah. I just hope that her little stunt here doesn't deter any future, you know, investigations. I'm a man with a, I'm a man with a particular set of skills. Skills that make me a problem for people like you. Make me a nightmare for people like you. I kidnap black women, leave their wig behind, their watch, their cell phone, their wallet, even leave their Mercedes Benz running. Take them places and feed them foods. Then I allow them to escape. I just look at them for 49 hours. Mm-mm. We watch TV. Pop Jiffy Pop. Tell stories. I wonder if he did her hair while he was with her. Mm-mm-mm. Maybe he did her hair, played her hair. That's why she didn't need the wig. She just ditched the yeah, wig. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe what we got ourselves is an orange head stylist with a fetish for chunky black woman. Joker. <laughs> joker, joker, joker. This is such an absurd story. Fetish for lying ass black uh, nurses students. And no, here, oh, here, here goes another thing. So she worked at this spa, right? So she's a nursing student, but she also worked at a spa. Turns out the spa had to fire her ass because the spa is like, look, we was out looking for you. Mm-hmm. Spa is pissed. Yeah. We were looking for you, lady. We out here actually, out, you know, taking time out of our lives, worried about your well-being. And then since people can't get to Carly because she's a private citizen, right? She just shut down her social what they're doing is they're going to the spa's websites and trashing the spa. Yeah. Spa's like, oh my God, my Yelp looks like shit because of this woman. Right. <laughs> Don't ever come here. Don't ever come here. They had the worst employees. It's horrible, man. So they had to let her go. Pink slipped. Who's that? Pink slipped. Pink slipped, yeah. yeah. And, and look, and, and, and I ain't mad at him. Shoot, that's shoe. So here's the thing I want to get to the broader issue. Of course, this is this is bad. This is you know this is horrible. It's 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 more than horrible. It's illegal. It's stupid, um, and it's insensitive to real people that are being hurt, and particularly the black women that are being abducted every day that are not getting the type of coverage as this. And to on a broader scale, all the people that are being that are being abducted every day that aren't getting the attention because the, the media only focuses on a very small slither of anything. I don't care what it is. That's another thing people need to realize. Media covers like nothing. All right? Like, you know how much news there is? Like, dog, real talk, people, ladies and gentlemen, there's so many stories that never get told. People don't really, people don't understand how much news there is. 
They don't understand how many stories there are out there. So, um, so there are people of all walks of life. But of course, we're talking about black women. We're talking about this particularly, specifically, because that's what this is. But besides that, so now what do we do now? What do we go from now? People are saying she needs to go to jail. Did a lot of people say, nah, that's, see, why are you doing that? Why are you, why are you coming down on the system like this? I saw Bishop Talbot Swan, um, who's like a president of an NAACP chapter, going like, nah, man, like, why people get away with doing shit online all the time? We had Emmett Till, a woman that lied on Emmett Till. She got Emmett Till killed and she ain't never go to jail. So why are you why are black men and women riding for the system to lock her up for lying about something when nobody got hurt? Yeah, she's wrong, but she she could stop calling for her to go to jail. So Mrs. Black, like I see his point. I'm gonna go first just to say, I see your point. I I don't root for people to go to jail. If I say you're going to jail, I'm saying that's what I think the outcome's gonna be. I'm not saying lock up and throw away the key. What she did was wrong. I'm not gonna make excuses for what she, excuses for what she did. I'm not gonna just automatically say it was a mental health issue. You haven't produced any evidence to tell me that there's a mental health issue to be addressed. Mm. Now, if you come out and say, "Hey, she's on a mental health issue. She's had um, this situation, that situation," you gotta divulge these things if you want sympathy. If you want people to take things in context. If not, people assume the worst. They assume they're dealing with a woman who's a who's a narcissist, um, a, a, a selfish brat. This is and 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 paid. Yeah. As Mrs. Black pointed out, you got a very nice neighborhood. You, you're driving a Benz when you got caught. Nice job in school, living with your parents at 25, doing well. You ain't out here struggling, living hand to mouth out in someone's uh, boarding house, trying to make ends meet. You know, you you all right, and you still do this. So, um, all those things. So the Bishop Talbot Swan and to those people to say we should not be calling for her to go to jail. I agree. I don't call for people to go into our shitty justice system unless they took lives, unless they did something that was injurious to people. And luckily, fortunately for Miss Russell, no one was injured except egos and emotional damage. And maybe that's not jail. Maybe that's community service. Maybe that's mm-hmm. some other way. But I can't imagine you should walk away with nothing. So, Mrs. Black, that's my stance on it. What do you think? Yeah, I just think we need to see the bigger picture. You mentioned mentioning, um, you know, possible uh, mental health issues or just just getting the whole story. Um, I would not want to see her go to jail as well. I think that there was um, some loss in resources. Um, yeah. For law enforcement and looking for her, uh, the amount of time that those officers who you know took time out to 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 do their job right. and, and find this this young lady um but yeah i don't maybe community service or and a fine and a fine of course mm-hmm. but um you know again you know that's that's i agree with that um but i'm also thinking too you know just uh her current um status her her standard of living looks very high you know, um, you mentioned, you know, what she's driving. It, it seems like her lifestyle is on the upper end. Right. You know, um, and I'm thinking also that being the case that that may have been a reason that she was um, looked for the way that she was. Has she come from another area Ooh. that may have been, you know, across the railroad uh, tracks? Or, yes. You know, would we have this much attention on this wow. per- that particular person as well? Wow. So, so you're saying... So, Mrs. Black, you're saying maybe there was a class element to this. Yeah. Oops. Hadn't considered that. See, see, Mrs. Black, see what I'm saying? Just, see, you are thinking. You're, you're giving me, giving me good, idea, good ideas. Another way, other ways to look at it, my goodness. Huh. Yeah, if she was uh, broke living in the hood, maybe they wouldn't look for her. They just assume. And that's what's bad is that maybe they're... The assumptions, you know, is correct in this particular case. But in so many other cases, I don't think it's correct. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. Very dangerous, very dangerous stuff, folks. Very dangerous stuff. Uh, What else are they saying? They're saying, um, God, what else are they saying about Carly? They're saying, this is a lot of people very upset, man. It really took it personal. There are a lot of black women who took this very personal as if, they were, you know, like they, you know, 
And just imagine if you're somebody who lost someone, the trauma that you're going through with this. It's traumatic to have to, yeah, you know, deal with loss, a lost, lost son or daughter, and you kind of wish it for, you know, you hear about her story, and people relive that. And I know it's a small segment of society, but those are real people's feelings and thoughts. And those people now going, huh? You did this for what? So now, to go silent, I'm pretty sure they've got legal counsel that told her, I can only imagine any lawyer would tell you to shut the hell up. Don't say nothing. Let's see what they hit you with. Then see what you got to talk about. Mm -hmm. So I understand that, but if you're going to play that game, tell your boyfriend, sit down. Hey, just sit down, bro. Sit down, because... This is what this is what media does. If if you put a story out there that people feel good about or feel that touch them, uh, that that move them, that grabs the the, the minds and the, the heart muscles of America, we imagine this woman being abducted. She fighting for her life, and for you to play on our emotions that way, that's saying it was her intention because we don't know yet, right? Right. We don't know. But I got pretty sure she had TV access wherever she was. Yeah. She left her phone. Yeah. Because the GPS, they want to. Yeah, that's smart. she was, yeah. And mm-hmm. left her, because it's, it's your watch crack. The, the Apple watch is what she had. That tracks you just as well as the phone. Mm. Same, uh, same technology. So, yeah, I get all that. Why didn't you take a picture of the, of the, of the, of the child, though? So it's a. A lot of holes, a lot of gaps. A lot of holes, man. Mm-hmm. There's some holes in this story. Well, I don't want to be the dead horse, man. It is what it is, folks. She lied. Yeah. I don't know a better way to put it. That's what I believe it is. And um, should she go to jail? What do you think? Put it. Let us know in the comment section. Should Carly Russell go to jail for it? Or, you know, or since no one was hurt? Should she just pay restitution? Mm-hmm. Do some community service? I actually help some victims. Hmm, how about that? How about Carly Russell actually go help people that literally, that real in real life were hurt? That it's not a story. How about that? And um It's a great idea. That plus the fact that Jesus Christ, she gotta change her name or something. I mean, her reputation is dog do. It's cow drops. Cow pods. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine being Carly Russell and trying to get a job after this? Yeah. Jesus Christ. I could imagine no good offers coming. Maybe job shoveling shit. Because that's exactly what she did. <laughs> the only thing, you, so only thing you're qualified to do is shovel shit, sister. Wow. Which you've been doing for the last... All right, guys, that's, it. that's your innings. Thank you for being a member of the Tim Black Wolfpack. Tim Black, Team Black, and uh, I will see you on the next one. Peace. Take care, all. Love and hair grease. <laughs>Extra Innings is bonus content from Tim Black's The Black Table. Get the first look at this and other amazing content by becoming a member of the Tim Black community. Go to jointimblack.com, sign up for only $5 a month. We'll see you there. Cut the check.